I just wanted to share with you why this pen is so great. It's a uh, Waterman's 55, and it's from about the period that this catalog is from, which is 1918. Now, my pen is maybe 1917, maybe 1918, and it has a New York nib, and it is well represented in this really cool catalog. And we're going to get to the page. There's the clip cap. You know, how cool is that? Right? The spoon feed. This thing, it's got it all. Clip cap and spoon feed. I mean business. We're reliable. People love us. You know, so anyway, the the gift practical. I like that. That's cute. And then we get to the numbering system. It's standard, you know. Started in 1917. Clarified an awful lot. For example, the 08525V, the suffix, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is too cool. The holders. Regular type, pocket type, safety type. And they called pens, they called nibs pens. You know, like they were that ye oldy fashioned. Now here we have the pen that we're going to be talking about today. Uh, right there. It's a plain or chased, in this case chased, but somewhat worn. Number 55. A great pen, somewhere in the middle, five bucks. In 1918, that was a big deal. And there it is. That's what it looks like here in this catalog. And we have a bunch of uh, nib types available as well. I'll give you, oops, just went by it. Hold up. There we go. Yeah, we can skip that. Gold pens. What these things actually looked like, what your options were. You had a bunch of them. Too many options. Anyway, tremendous fun. And uh, I've got one of these. And it's not in perfect shape, which kind of is re refreshing for me uh, I can relax a bit when using it but here we go we have a Waterman's 55 from about that time 1917 1918 1919 even probably late late teens could be 20s too Snib is something else. I hope we can actually get it to focus, but anyway. There it is, finally, sort of. Anyway, phenomenal nib. Great writer. You can see down there, it's, an, it's a New York nib. Down there. Down on that. Right there. Anyway.
it just refuses to focus. <laughs> it just, there you go. They're fabulous. I mean, they're really great. Look at how it's so smooth and delicate and it just glides. It just glides. You know, I haven't felt any new pen do that. This nib is extraordinary. Just it's ground so exquisite. I mean, it's amazing what these nibs can do. I mean, I mean, wow. This nib is so spectacular. Anyway, this is a Waterman's 55. Look at the size of this pen. I mean, it's not small. It's not enormous, but it's it's big. You know, it's really big. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's a bag. I mean, it's a good size nib. It's not huge, but it's big. You know, oh, damn the focus. Damn it. But it's great. And I mean, look what. Uh, 11 day old diamine mine ancient copper can do. I love it, it's so abstract. It's just like the E is great, right? Anyway, this is what happens when we're a little bit too liberated. <laughs> a little bit. To This is a hell of a pen. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. Cheers.